Losing weight can seem very tough. Sometimes you feel like you're doing everything right, yet still not getting results. You may actually be hindering your progress by following misguided or outdated advice. Here are the top 10 common way you should not to lose weight. 1. Only focusing on the scale weight. It's very common to feel like you're not losing weight fast enough, despite faithfully sticking to your diet. However, the number on the scale is only one measure of weight change. Weight is influenced by several things, including fluid fluctuations and how much food remains in your system. In fact, weight can fluctuate by up to 4 pounds over the course of a day, depending on how much food and liquid you've consumed. Also, increased estrogen levels and other hormonal changes in women can lead to greater water retention, which is reflected in scale weight. If the number on the scale isn't moving, you may very well be losing fat mass, but holding on to water. Fortunately, you can do several things to lose water weight. Additionally, if you've been working out, you may be gaining muscle and losing fat. When this happens, your clothes may start to feel looser especially around the waist despite a stable scale weight. 2. Eating too many or too few calories. A calorie deficit is required for weight loss. This means you need to burn more calories than you consume. For many years, it was believed that a decrease of 3,500 calories per week would result in one pound of fat loss. However, recent research shows the calorie deficit needed varies from person to person. You may feel as though you're not eating very many calories. But in fact, most of us have a tendency to underestimate and underreport what we eat. In a two-week study, 10 obese people reported consuming 1,000 calories per day. Lab testing showed they were actually taking in about 2,000 calories per day. You may be consuming too many foods that are healthy but also high in calories, such as nuts and cheese. 3. Not exercising or exercising too much. During weight loss, you inevitably lose some muscle mass as well as fat, although the amount depends on several factors. If you don't exercise at all while restricting calories, you're likely to lose more muscle mass and experience a decrease in metabolic rate. By contrast, exercising helps minimize the amount of lean mass you lose, boost fat loss, and prevent your metabolism from slowing down. The more lean mass you have, the easier it is to lose weight and maintain the weight loss. However, overexercising can also cause problems. Studies show excessive exercise is unsustainable in the long term for most people and may lead to stress. In addition, it may impair the production of adrenal hormones that regulate stress response. 4. Choosing low-fat or diet foods. Processed or low-fat or diet foods often considered good choices for losing weight, but they may actually have the opposite effect. Many of these products are loaded with sugar to improve their taste. For instance, one cup 245 grams of low-fat fruit-flavored yogurt can contain a whopping 47 grams of sugar. Rather than keeping you full, low-fat products are likely to make you hungrier, so you end up eating even more. Instead of low-fat or diet foods, choose a combination of nutritious, minimally processed foods. 5. Overestimating how many calories you burn during exercise. Many people believe that exercise supercharges their metabolism. Although exercise increases metabolic rate somewhat, it may actually be less than you think. Studies show both normal and overweight people tend to overestimate the number of calories they burn during exercise, often by a significant amount. In one study, people burned 200 and 300 calories during exercise sessions. Yet when asked, they estimated they had burned over 800 calories. As a result, they ended up eating more. That being said, exercise is still crucial for overall health and it's just not as effective at burning calories as some people think. 6. Eating too often, even if you're not hungry. For many years, the conventional advice has been to eat every few hours in order to prevent hunger and a drop in metabolism. Unfortunately, this can lead to too many calories being consumed over the course of the day. You may also never truly feel full. In one study, blood sugar levels and hunger decreased while metabolic rate and feelings of fullness increased in men who consumed 3 meals versus 14 meals within a 36-hour time frame. The recommendation to eat breakfast every morning, regardless of appetite, also appears to be misguided. One study found when people skipped breakfast, they took in more calories at lunch than when they'd eaten a morning meal. However, they consumed an average of 408 fewer calories for the day overall. Eating when you're hungry and only when you're hungry seems to be key to successful weight loss. However, letting yourself get too hungry is also a bad idea. It is better to eat a snake than become ravenously hungry, which can cause you to make poor food decisions. 7. Not eating enough protein. 
Getting enough protein is extremely important if you're trying to lose weight. In fact, protein has been shown to help with weight loss in several ways. It can reduce appetite, increase feelings of fullness, decrease calorie intake, increase metabolic rate, and protect muscle mass during weight loss. In a 12-day study, people ate a diet containing 30% of calories from protein. They ended up consuming an average of 575 fewer calories per day than when they ate 15% of calories from protein. Review also found that higher protein diets, containing 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per pounds, may benefit appetite control and body composition. 8. Eating too much fat on a low-carb diet. Ketogenic and low-carb diets can be very effective for weight loss. Studies show they tend to reduce appetite, which often leads to a spontaneous reduction in calorie intake. Many low-carb and ketogenic diets allow unlimited amounts of fat, assuming that the resulting appetite suppression will keep calories low enough for weight loss. However, some people may not experience a strong enough signal to stop eating. As a result, they may be consuming too many calories to achieve a calorie deficit. If you're adding large amounts of fat to your food or beverages and are not losing weight, you may want to cut back on the fat. 9. Still drinking sugar. Many people cut soft drinks and other sweetened beverages out of their diet to lose weight, which is a good thing. However, drinking fruit juice instead isn't smart. Even 100% fruit juice is loaded with sugar and may lead to health and weight problems similar to those caused by sugar-sweetened beverages. For instance, 12 ounces of unsweetened apple juice contains 36 grams of sugar. That's even more than in 12 ounces of cola. What's more, liquid calories don't seem to affect the appetite centers in your brain the same way calories from solid foods do. Studies show that you end up consuming more calories overall, instead of compensating for the liquid calories by eating less later in the day. 10. Not eating enough fiber. A low-fiber diet may be compromising your weight loss efforts. Studies show a type of soluble fiber known as viscous fiber helps reduce appetite by forming a gel that holds water. This gel moves slowly through your digestive tract, making you feel full. Research suggests all types of fiber benefit weight loss. However, a review of several studies found viscous fiber reduced appetite and calorie intake much more than other types. When total fiber intake is high, some of the calories from foods in mixed meals aren't absorbed. Researchers estimate that doubling daily fiber intake could result in up to 130 fewer calories being absorbed. So friends, this is the top 10 ways you should not to lose your weight. Hope you all enjoy the video. It's enough for today. Give a like, comment below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.